day 27. Welcome everyone. And today we are going to talk about the artist's muse. And what we're listening to is called Walking on Fire by the Sound Collection of Facebook, which is very interesting. It has some really, really good music on there. And it's all public domain, free for you to use. I think I've mentioned that a few times, but it's always good to mention it again. So how is everybody doing? I couldn't believe day 27. Isn't that incredible? When I first started this, I got somewhere, like I said, in day 7. I was thinking, what was I thinking? And every day to come and present something and... I always like to experiment before I come online, so it's a bit of homework too. And this morning I was going, well, the leader's art is all about how we carry ourselves. It's about leadership. And um, it's not just about how we carry ourselves. It's also how the impact that it has on our art. And... We have to have, we have to, well, I've had to have very many interesting subjects and have my fingertips in a lot of different things as a facilitator, instructor, teacher, coach. We have to have, we have to be the reservoir, like I said yesterday in my presentation on day 26. And that reservoir means I discover that playing games what better way? Uh, a lot of the educational content that I develop is around game playing, is about challenging our perceptions of how we're going to get from A to B to C. In some ways, I'm, I teach how to set small goals because I've had to do that within my um, art studio business as well as in my leadership practices. Now, what I was doing was going through, I, we just finished the 15 Laws of Growth. And I didn't go through the whole book because there's so much information. It's incredible that that book itself would be anywhere from, I want to say, uh, an eight-week book study together. And so I just gave you like taste from a creative and artistic perspective. I looked on my bookshelf and I went, well, Brene Brown, Daring Greatly, that's really good. But what could I do to better our time in the next few days here? And I've come up with, and this was suggestion to me, oh, I want to say about eight years ago by a really good friend. And it's called The Artist's Muse, Unlock the Door to Your Creativity. And... It's really good because what the artist, Betsy Dillard Stroud, what she did is she's a professional artist who created cards that we draw to stimulate our creativity. Remember I said something about going nowhere? Well, it's always good to have a foundation. Like when I go nowhere, I might want to do... Uh, mixed media and then when I think about mixed media I just throw a whole pile of stuff on the table and then what I find is I I, I gravitate to a particular color and just like business building there's also a sense that I I do my dealings in the same manner and in the same way programming and so with this it makes it a whole lot more fun and within the book, in this kit, you have a book and you have a set of cards. And she tells, she gives you really clear examples and brilliant illustrations of painting. Examples of how to stretch your creativity. And when we're looking to develop a style as artists that is outside of our usual, this is a great practice. And if we're B, not into 
the art world and we just want to sit down and take a mental break. Guidance is by no means, all means I should say, very important. Here are the cards. I've marked them because when I go to use them I'd like to know. Right? And I've also drawn my cards before I started. And, and um, so we have the rectangle door here and I just got a little note so I don't get distracted. The rectangle, which is your doorway card, you do a painting based on the subject. And then when you draw this one, it'll give you a color suggestion. Now, if you really want an opportunity to expand your creative muscle, this card here is called a new opportunity. And I'm going to share with you what I got. Okay? So this is one, two, three. And so this is the uh, this is over here. This is the doorway. This is the color. And down here is stretching yourself. If you wish to participate the artist muse tomorrow, drop your drop drop a comment in the field below that says yes, and I will inbox. You need to say yes one and two, or yes all. Does that make sense? And I will. I will draw the deck for you and you can come on tomorrow and any questions or feedback that you have about what it was that I sent you and how you did that this evening or possibly I'm going to do this in, up to day 30, you can share with me what it is that you got. Okay, so I drew the doorway card and I got Put scarves, ties, and ribbons together in, in the painting or do a separate painting of each. So I could do a separate painting of scarves, ties, and ribbons. I chose to just choose one. Okay, The color theme. It says here, so I'm on the circle. It says, do a painting with a split complement color scheme, which includes a color of your choice plus the two colors on either side of its complement on the color wheel. Okay? And we all know I'm a blue artist, so guess where I'm going to go. Okay. So I went the blue, and as you can see, there's a teal, and on the other side is a darker purple. That's what I'm going to do in palette knife. I'm going to do it in one circle for you while I talk a bit to you or just demonstrate how to use uh, palette knives in just a small area. Okay, So you can get one of these color, color wheels at any art store or you can print them out yourself by googling um, color wheel printout or make your own because ideally what um, the color wheel and, and and sometimes it helps us just choose the colors because you see this is a spectrum of colors coming from three red yellow and blue the initial colors that started the universe were red yellow and blue okay and so when they're mixed uh, from each other that you know you get spectrums of color and I'm not going to go into the color wheel because the whole idea here is to to inspire you this just helps okay the windows of opportunity it says and so this is the window of opportunity it says place an assortment of found objects on the surface of your paper use rice metal rings keys spaghetti any interesting shapes Spray around these objects with gesso watered down to the consistency of skim milk and let it dry. Use this as the surface for your painting. And what I did, if you remember, I did um, some lino art, 
some days back and I have uh, it's already already there I used uh, wall joint compound <laughs> okay so I believe I'm ready to go I want this to be no longer than 30 minutes it's better that way keep your attention and I appreciate you coming in and um, giving me a thumbs up if you like this what I've presented today also share it please I'd, I'd really appreciate that okay we're down we're down on the I'm gonna move the cards and I'm gonna put this color wheel here because this is the color that I wanted and between these two on either side is what I'm gonna put in inside here okay now hmm, a little bit of white might help I don't know I'm thinking about this okay I'm just gonna put it directly here because I'm palette knifing I'm using a palette knife oh. <laughs> palette knifing it sounds it sounds odd okay and this was the texture that I created in another other video demonstrating um, the joint compound and how to do that. So I'm kind of, I'm really glad that I had this template so that I could experiment with you. Oops. Like this and we'll go there. Okay. This one makes really good flowers. This one is really useful in doing the work that we're going to do right now. And so basically, a lot of you have probably seen this, maybe not, maybe I'm making an assumption, but let's go like that. And I'm going to stand up so that I can move this around. I like what it did there. Now normally this is a technique that I would have avoided or have avoided. You see I'm just wiping my knife off a little bit there. And if you want it, want it to change a little bit and it doesn't look like much right now I always find that when you let the painting dry you get a whole different it's almost like the personality of the paint itself Okay, I'm going to use a brush just to move, see underneath, isn't that neat? Like wow, this, this is running into each other and I want to, I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to move down to what I do is I have all my brushes ready to go. I'm in the mood for purple. Purple and maybe gold. And I'm just going to cut it in there. I have some small circles. And you kind of you you're seeing and you're getting the idea of the demonstration I'm able to talk while I'm doing this because it's not that complex it's actually enjoyable I'm not sure about you 
but I really enjoy texture. This texture here in it. I'm feeling like I might want to do the same texture on a larger painting that I'm going to do of a horse. Um, I have to give that some thought. The other thing about doing really quick, quick pieces of art is that when I'm doing these 5 to 15 minute demonstrations, I'm no, not ever really happy with the result. I like to think a little bit about it and then approach it. So I did some thinking, you can see with the, the circles. Okay. And, and um, while I was on that train of thought, there's a piece here. It's just selecting any part of this image that you want to use the colors that were given to me. And the colors that the card said were blue, uh, a blue-green and a blue-violet. Well, I made it uh, blue, a light violet, and a um, sort of like a khaki green. And it also also said on the, the other card, which was a doorway to opportunity, to experiment with texture, which was rice or some other objects. This is part of it. And um, the ribbon, what I'll do is I, I may want to put the ribbon here. I had to think of a way to put the ribbon there. Not this. Taking the, uh, what do I want to do with that? Well, I'm on the thinking, so we were, how about a dark purple? Uh, maybe we'll just stick with the purple. Okay, I want to pour it on the canvas, but, and actually this is a cardstock, so I can actually cut out what um, I like and I don't like, and maybe present it to someone, a gift. You can see that's kind of almost what I was getting at. Let's try stippling that paint in there and see what happens. Well, then um, what we need to do is come up. Here's a good thing. It's Right there, let's try a white in there. And overdo it. Ooh, I like that. And you can see that I'm just going to add a few more things here and then I'm going to come back up to the camera. I like spheres. I really like doing the, the work around circles. There's something about it that I just find really freeing. You act like that full circle is there. And one more added touch before I go.
And you see these? They were uh, the, the texture I put on the other day that I was mentioning. And uh, I'm just going to go like this so I can finish. You can go more and do more. This is just really quick, 15 minute, inspire you, let's do it, let's muse together. So much work you can, can continue to, to move and grow off, grow. Said ribbon, maybe we want to put a bow on there. It's too small, but we'll figure something else out. I'll just put it like that. Mind my note to myself there. Hi. Just something. Something quick, easy. I said 15 to 25 minutes a day of going nowhere. And you heard me, it sparked my attention to and it inspired me to pursue the painting of the horse that I wanted to do. Now, even this method helps me when I feel I get into the mood for creating food and, and being in the kitchen or listening to a type of music, like you heard the music there, or at times I'm dancing in the studio to let off some of that, that energy. And so I hope that you've enjoyed this section, this part of day one of the Artist Muse within my 30-day creative challenge. If you wish to participate tomorrow, drop your comments below. I'll come with food for thought, a leader's art thinking, uh, a moment uh, with the leader's art and how that helps us with our creativity and how to grow from that. So my call to action to you today is drop your name below and let's, let's do this together. All right, I love you. We will catch you tomorrow. Bye for now.